Welcome, Cancer. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks for you and what is going on. No, Cancer, that when you find this video is when the messages are applicable for you. Um, in saying that, though, this these messages aren't going to resonate for everyone because it is a general reading. Okay, so check out your um, your other placements and see if, you know, that might resonate for you a bit more if this one doesn't. Anyway, the Enchanted Map um, is what we'll be starting with and I have changed it up, Cancer, and we'll be using the Gilded Tarot. Alrighty, let's get going here. Okay, Cancer, let's start. Sacred Pool. Okay. Cancer. Interesting, interesting, interesting already. And we're only on the first card. Let me show you this, Cancer. I feel like there's some sort of reflection going on with yourself, Cancer. Um, I feel like there could be something within you that um, maybe you're not feeling so flash about yourself at the moment. It's kind of like, it's it, because I'm getting this sense, Cancer, of sort of like looking at your reflection in the sacred pool and not liking what you see. And I feel as though there's this misunderstanding as to who you truly are. It's like you're looking at things from the outside instead of actually looking at the sacred being that you are on the inside. If you like, there's a mis, mis, not misunderstanding but it's kind of like you're not seeing the truth of who you really are. Oh, that one just did a like 360 flip and then went back in. That was weird. Um, and maybe it's that thing of needing to turn your perspective around, Cancer. What have we got here? Wow. Okay, temperance and death here. <sighs> Interesting, Cancer. So... First of all, Cancer, with this, I'm just going to start with the Temperance card here because, like, I feel like she's got her feet immersed in this sacred pool here. Um, and it's like there's this mix of energies going on. There's, there's conflicting impressions I feel and this could this could be in your you know a, you about yourself but see how she's looking away she doesn't want to look and I feel like that's yeah that that might very well be how you feel um Hmm. Yeah, and with the death card here, I feel as though there, you know, it could very well be that that is coming to an end, or it's kind of saying to you to stop doing that because it's it's not not serving you in any shape or form okay and it's it's almost as though something needs to be brought into balance here with this temperance card um and and kind of something cut out um, but anyway, let me not focus on that for too long. It's already been five minutes. Okay, compass. Compass, wow. Okay, I feel like 
this could be about you going in a new direction because I've just been drawn to this little frog here and I feel like the frog has jumped out of the sacred pool and onto this compass and it's finding this new direction and maybe that's what that temperance card is about like looking this could be needing to look at your passions look at your what what sets your soul on fire um and and make that change because this death see i don't see this death as a bad thing because change is called for change is necessary for you so i feel as though for you cancer that this this is you looking for a new direction to go in or you're about to head in a new direction and in order for that to be successful I feel like your perception of yourself cancer needs to change okay um yeah I feel as though You really need to start viewing yourself in a different light. Compass. Tell me more about compass. Or, okay. Been working hard on something here. And maybe this has been you working on your self-esteem. Working on... Working on building something. Um... It's like there's this persistence here. Um, we've got two cards here. Okay. We've got the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. But I want to start with this here. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, working on what it is like, like something that you actually already possess this could also be about you going on a new venture and um but i really do see you working oh okay i see sorry it's just jumped into my head but I, I do see you working into the night type of thing on this but what i feel like cancer is it's like there's something potentially that you're passionate about and it's like a matter of mixing it up, right, so that you can put your own stamp on it so that it is unique to you, okay? And this is something that you can definitely work on. Yeah, and I feel like that's what the King of Cups here is representing. You know... He, he knows what it is that he loves. There's no question. He knows. He is absolutely sure. See, he's not even, or is he? I think he's holding his cup there. But it's like he, there's no question. There's no doubt in his mind. Okay, this could also very well be that there could be someone coming into your life who, who is in your life who is very, very um, gentle and um, is going to be able to help you with this journey. And I'm being drawn to these plants down here so this could be something about and he's on the water but the plants are there which is really interesting I like ferns but they're not this is about you growing something growing something for yourself that um with this card here I feel like there has been some sort of burden that you've been carrying um, and just going from the Eight of Pentacles here, I feel like it's weighing heavy on you. Um, I feel like there's this need to tap into what it is that 
got you started on this journey or what it is that is inside you because it's as though for some of you you've been on this journey and you've gathered things along the way and it has become a burden but what I feel like is it could be a matter for you cancer of tapping into your initial um, reason for starting this journey like what what was that that catapulted you on your way okay and the king of cups being this caring and thoughtful person may very well be able to help you tap into that okay um and that might be able to help you put your own unique stamp onto what it is that you're working towards interesting dragon's lear Ooh. sorry let me just show you here I feel like this is a bit of a warning of some sort. Because it's kind of like, you can see the, the dragon flying up here, right? But there's this here hiding down here. Almost as low, though there's sort of this distraction, it's like... Um, and it reminds me of the temperance here, like there's this distraction. It could be even your emotions are distracting you from keeping focus on what it is you need to focus on. Um, but the one thing I want to say about this, Cancer, is that it's like, it's like you're traveling along the path, right? And you've come across this. And I feel as though, I feel like in this sacred pool, this is about you needing to tap into your intuition to see what what direction is the best to go in. Okay, I feel like there's something, there could be something jumping out at you to be like, oh, you know, a bit like, um, what is it called, like red flags, like the red eyes down here right and you're seeing those but it's as though but the ability to fly like a dragon is very appealing but there's this down here that you have to get past and there's something inside of you saying something's not right here um and there's this warning there's this warning tell me more about this for cancer tell me more about this very interesting that we've got this water here. This could be an emotional thing. This could be, um, there's just so much water here. You could be dealing with a water sign. I mean, I know that you are a water sign, but I just, yeah, this could be a water sign, especially with the King of Cups here. But anyhow, let's not focus on that because this, you know, too many cards here. Too many cards here. Sorry, this could be a um, the emperor. We've got the emperor here. Which is interesting. It's like, because this is eerie, so I feel like... But also we've got the fire and, sorry, the fire and the water here. I just wonder, for you Cancer, if there's something that ignites your soul and it's like this passion and someone comes along and pours water on it and tries to dampen it down sort of thing or there's something that's going on that um, people are dampening down what it is that you're working working <laughs> you're working towards um you know like there's this yeah there's this real sense of of that um I feel as though if you keep your focus and and keep in tune with your intuition that you are definitely going to achieve what it is you want to achieve. I feel like you'll be able to land on stable ground. Um, yeah. 
it's really keeping this focus and, and keeping, um, you know, going, keep going back to what it was that got you started there, okay? Because Cancer, like any path, there's trials and tribulations are along the way. Yes, yeah, so it's a matter of not letting, maybe if this is really something that is true to your heart, not letting anything um, get in the way of that, in a sense, to keep going with it. Okay, and we have the Knight of Swords here. Yep, and I really do feel like um, this is, you know, about you... <sighs> Kind of like using your wisdom to cut out any of the nonsense. Not because that's kind of what I feel like the emperor stands in that. You know, he 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 uses that. He 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 doesn't let these things. You know, he he's the emperor. Like he 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 is the. Um, emperor of a, a kingdom right and he knows exactly um, how that all works and how it needs to work and what needs to be where and who needs to be doing what in order for that to function um, and I feel as though this could be something that you're learning to do this could very well be something that you're learning to do and you're sort of on your road to mastering that if you like and I want to say that definitely, again, just back to the intuition again, I have to stress that to you, Cancer, to really pay attention to that, okay? Um, yeah, and to not let, I suppose, um, anyone come in and try to steer you away from which direction you're heading in because a lot of times it's like that um, you know a lot of times people will advise you or um, try and direct you in a way that they think you should go because that's what they would do or that would be what they would choose because that would be best for them but this is about you Okay, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're so far into this. Okay, into the unknown. Yeah, see, this is you walking through something blindfolded and not too sure which direction you're headed in. And, um, and, and I feel like this is where it's so important for you to keep your focus on, on what it is that you began with so that in, in, and again, using your intuition to guide you rather than anything else i feel like that's the sense that you most need to draw on right now cancer okay so let's have a look into the unknown for cancer what's the dealio here for cancer into the unknown tell me more about this for cancer the star this is what you're headed towards okay you're headed towards better times all right and even though you might feel a bit blinded right now this is what is happening because now we have someone holding the two cups and they're pouring out water here this could also be about letting go of any emotions that are that are stopping you from moving forward okay and we have the four of wands which i really love for you and this is kind of like building that empire like how the emperor has built here that that's what that's about this could be very much about um you know like like really getting that stability and i feel as though that's the case here um for you i feel like and this could be something that you're actually doing for your family. We next have the wishing well. Um, and I feel like this is Cancer sending your wishes out into the universe. And you know, the funny thing is here, is that I feel like this is similar to the sacred pool, right? It's like this wishing well. You know, maybe these are your wishes being dropped into the sacred pool here.
again there's this fire here yep so this is your passion um you know really oh they flipped out quick um really um oh i love this um focusing on that passion because you see this guy here these these spilt cups here right and there's the two behind him that he's not seeing so he's focusing on what hasn't worked out or what has gone on and it's a little bit like her she's she's made her wish she's put it out there but she's still looking back it's like she's still checking on on you know is my wish gonna come true like is it happening now what about now how about now you know and I feel like your wish has been granted, but you need to turn around. You need to kind of like shift your position, I feel. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, far out. Because it's kind of like, if these two cards are sitting here, what's behind him here? This is the Two of Cups also, which can be about a partnership, okay? A fulfilling partnership. Um... But, you know, this is the Ten of Pentacles here, which is absolutely what you're aiming towards, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. You're building that and building that so that you can get to the Ten. Okay, so this is really um, financial and stabi stability. You know, again, building the stability for the family. Okay, so this is, this is pretty cool, actually. It's a very cool education. Okay, so this could be what you want to head towards and there's something that you need to learn. There's some sort of education that you need to. Um, you could be beginning something new and educating yourself to go in a new direction. I love how this little fairy or pixie or something is jumping out of this book here. Um, there's something magical about this for sure. 100% magical. What is going on with this education? Tell me more about that. I mean, it seems clear, but there's... I don't know, because I'm also seeing the storm clouds up above, but it's almost like there's nothing that deters this person from educating herself. I wonder what that stalk is about. It reminds me of another, I think it was in the last round of readings with the foggy bog, and there was like a, I don't know if that's a stalk or not, but anyway, well, I'm just going to say it is, but it it's just, this has been shown to me, so I feel like this is relevant to you, Cancer, that in this deck of cards, there was the foggy bog, and the, um, and it was like this bird, which was similar to this, if not the same, was stuck in this kind of like bog of mud, and I just wonder, and I notice now it's on the rock, so it's kind of like you've stepped away from being stuck somehow. Okay, and um, the Knight of Cups. Now, this could be, with this card here, this could very well be about love. You could be learning about yourself. You could be learning other ways to to actually love yourself. This could be that journey, okay? Um, it could be love with another person, especially with the Two of Cups coming up here. Um, tell me more about this education, though. That's interesting, but this could be educating yourself with something you love, you know, doing something you love. Like I say, that passion, the world has come up. This is 100% a total new beginning. Like you, you, you couldn't get any more new than the world coming up. This is leading to happiness and success. This is absolutely, it, it's like being on top of the world. So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, Cancer, or there towards is going to absolutely bring you the success that you seek. Okay. We have the Golden Palace here. And with this, I feel like this is... This is something you're building. 
it's kind of like you have this vision as to what it is you want to build and you're learning which way to go. We've got the Ace of Cups here, see? This could very well be a new beginning in love. The Golden Palace... See, now the Golden Palace, see, here we go. Look, I'm going to go totally over time in this video. I know I am. But I feel like, do you know what? I feel like you're trying to head towards this. And it doesn't have to be about love, okay? It could just be happiness, heading towards this happiness. And this is what you envision. And it feels like for some of you, you come across this and it's like, hang on a minute. That's not what was meant to you know that's not what it looked like that's not what my dream looked like and so it could be kind of like going back to what it was that your dream did look like right when we look at this card here and rerouting yourself because your focus here is on this this is your focus and also, I want to say about this cancer is that this is looking at what you are filling your cup with. So at the beginning, we touched on self-esteem and stuff like that and how you see yourself. So this is about really nurturing and loving yourself, right? And having the strength, being kind and gentle with yourself, okay? And, and looking at the parts of you that you may not be that favorable about and loving yourself anyway okay rock bottom here some of you may very well have hit rock bottom but I also feel as though with these paths here um, it's kind of like you've hit a wall and I wonder if this is the wall um, and now you're like oh gosh I don't know what way to go and so it could be a matter of backtracking a little bit um, just to fill in the gaps um, or to direct yourself onto another path here, okay? Um, and it's not that you have to completely give up on what it was that you wanted, but it's just a matter of heading in another direction realistically, okay? So here we have um, judgment uh, and, and what else do we have? Sorry, five of wands. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, see, this is what I was saying, renewing, renewing your journey, okay? Understanding that there will be rewards for what you have achieved so far. And this judgment can also be about karma. So understanding that if there are people who have kind of like steered you off track a little bit, um or not being so kind and understanding about your journey, um, you know, trying to direct you in a direction that they want you to go because that's what works for them, then, you know, look, things come in roundabouts, right? Um, but you don't need to focus on that because you, you, you have your sacred pool that you can tap into and you have your path which is sacred to you. Okay, and so that's what you need to focus on. Okay, I feel like there's been this petty kind of battling going on here. Um, a little bit like um, people are fighting, but they're not really fighting, in a sense, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, kind of like people competing with one another to try and be top dog. That's what I feel like with that. And it might have just steered you in the wrong direction. Um, and you've seen the cracks. You've seen the cracks in the wall. And now you're like, okay, let me backtrack. And I'm going this way. Okay, so now we have strength here. Um, I feel like I love this card. Look how she's kind of stepping out of this thing. It's like stepping out of that... Um, kind of like out of those murky waters I feel but there's also this this um and we had strength as well here so you could be really pulling on all your reserves right now um I would and and trying to balance you're trying to keep things 
upright if you like you're trying to yeah because she's holding that world and trying to keep the the tree on top of the world there and um so that it doesn't turn and everything goes all topsy furby <laughs> um then I do feel like maybe for you cancer this is exactly where you feel you are right now and um Trying to step out of the um of the messiness is what I want to say here. Two of Swords again, not really seeing clearly. Um, maybe I don't know if that's the direction, but it's kind of like there's. Um, it's like being a bit stuck. It's like climbing out of the stuckness, right? In a sense. Yeah, it, it really is. But I feel like you've got a, a handle on it. I feel like you, you're going to come out of that anyway. You know, I feel as though you are... Um, because the look on her face is very peaceful. It's like she's not stressed. She's not worrying. It's like, I suppose, in a sense, again, letting that intuition guide you, and you know you're going to be sweet. And it's kind of like these swords are here to protect you. Um, and, and I just feel like, you, yeah, honestly, Cancer, I feel like you'll be okay. And then we have the five of swords to end with, which is very, very interesting. I feel like this here um, is really kind of saying the fight is over, the battle is over. Um, and... There's kind of been some wounds along the way. Um, I feel as though this really is representing this hidden agenda. So it could be that you're yet to kind of like discover what that could have been. Okay, but with these strength cards here, um, this is really about you giving to yourself what it is that you need in order to get through this, okay? I do feel like with the world and we've got, um, you know, we've got like Ace of Cups, we've got Judgment, we've got some really awesome cards here, Ten of Pentacles, like, you know, you're going to be fine, Cancer. It's just waiting your way through it. And kind of getting yourself out of that mess. <laughs> okay, Cancer, good luck with that. And remember to be kind and gentle with yourself and really work on your internal dialogue. Okay, so that you can, um, so that that isn't um, clouding your intuition because deep, deep down inside you know. And I feel like that internal dialogue may be kind of um, just covering that up a little bit. So, yeah, work with that, okay, Cancer? Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you, bye-bye.